welcome to just another maker channel hey guys what's up in this video i'm going to be making a mini tripod with a 3d printer and some copper pipe let's get started do you ever find yourself looking online for tripods and just think wow they're all so expensive or ah this one looks too flimsy or even that's too tall if you do like me then this video is for you and if not you should give it a try the online tripod shopping community is quite welcoming i present to you the last tripod you'll ever need to make unless you want more than one the tripod can be adjusted from 280 millimeters tall to 420 millimeters tall it can swivel 360 degrees and the top mount can be rotated forwards 110 degrees you can also take the centre shaft out and install it inverted if you need to get something really low down. And of course if you wanted a taller tripod you could just make longer legs. To make this tripod you need to 3D print the following parts. One of these which is the main body, three of these for the top of the legs, three of these for the bottom of the legs, one of these for the top of the centre shaft, one of these as a swivel for the top of the centre shaft, two of these locking handles to secure the movable components in place and one large 3D printed washer. We also need one M5 bolt 50mm long, four M5 bolts 40mm long, one M5 bolt 20mm long, a quarter inch 20 UNC threaded bolt, 11 M5 plain washers, seven M5 locking nuts. And finally, you will also need four pieces of 15mm copper pipe. All of the fixings on this tripod are M5, with the exception of the single bolt that holds the cold shoe mounting. After 3D printing the parts, you might need to give some of the areas a little bit of a clean. I like to use a lighter to burn away the really fine strings, a razor blade to cut some of the little lumps and bumps off, and some sandpaper to clean up the fine details. All of the CAD files are available to download free of charge, link in the description. I decided to use standard copper piping for the legs to add a little bit of weight and give stability. Also it's readily available, not too expensive and looks nice. One thing I forgot to mention is I've also used an M5 Ruthex threaded insert, link in the description. This can be installed using a soldering iron and will provide a reusable fixing for 3D printed parts. And now to assemble everything. I'm going to start by trying the top swivel. Next, I'm going to attach a cold shoe mount for the top of the tripod, link in the description. Now for the copper pipe. It's best to use a pipe cutter to cut the copper pipe as it leaves a much better edge than a Now this copper pipe's pretty old and isn't the nicest so I'm going to give it a quick clean up with some emery cloth. Now I know what this looks like. you were thinking it, not me. So stop. 
If you want to keep the copper looking shiny and new, it's best to lacquer it. Or if you don't like it looking like copper, you can spray paint it a different colour. Here I'm reassembling the top swivel. You may notice that the locking handles look different. The two locking handles didn't work out too well, so I've redesigned them and they now work much better. Now I'm going to assemble the centre post. The parts are a nice interference fit. Now I'm going to assemble the three legs. I had considered using only two legs to save cost, but that idea didn't have a leg to stand on. Now to put the centre post into the tripod and check the fit. It's actually a little bit too tight so I've added a little more tolerance into the design. And finally to fit the redesigned locking handles. Overall, I'm really happy with how this tripod turned out. Let me know in the comments what you think. Thanks for watching guys, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. See you in the next one.